Hello and welcome to Focus for the Day. First John chapter 2 and the verse 6. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. If we abide in him, we ought to walk as he walked. We ought to live as the Lord Jesus Christ lived. How did he live? The Lord Jesus Christ lived in total dependence upon the Father. And he did that which the Father intended him to do. Jesus said in John chapter 4 and the verse 34, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me. And he prayed just a short time before his crucifixion at Calvary, Not my will, but thy will be done. And we too are called to live as Jesus lived, in total and full dependence upon the Father, fulfilling his will for our lives. To abide in him is to rest in his love, trust in his word, and to look to him in all things. I wonder amidst the chaos and the frustrations of life right now, can you say that? Can you say that you're abiding in him, that you're abiding in Jesus? And if so, are you walking as he walked? John calls his readers here in this passage to be like Jesus. And in being like Jesus, he brings up an old and well-known commandment, a commandment which we find in 1 John chapter 3 in the verse 11 and 2 John in the verse 5, which was to love one another. But John goes on to say of a new commandment, which is of Christ which has become revealed to the people as darkness and ignorance to who Christ was now passes away because the true light shineth. The light of Christ, the example that he set. Do you know Jesus? Is the darkness passing as more true light is revealed to you as you study his word and as you go through the Bible? How can you walk like Jesus if you don't Come and take the time to study his word and to look at his character and to see his love. The love that took him to the cross to take our place, to pay our price. So that our punishment could be removed from us and a relationship renewed with God. If you are abiding in him, then I challenge you today. Are you like him? The Bible is full of direction and how we should live. The Bible is clear on the purpose of our life. And we, the church, we are called to be like Christ. First John chapter 2 and the verse 15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. And then in verse 17 of the same chapter, He that doeth the will of God abideth forever. I don't know what your life is like for you these days. Maybe it's much the same, as busy as ever. Maybe it's busier or maybe much quieter. But can I challenge you this morning and ask you, are you taking the time to learn of him? The one that we are called as Christians to follow. Is it your prayer to be like him? Is it your prayer to live for him? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11 and the verse 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. The Lord Jesus Christ wants us to follow his example, to be a light in dark days, to be something different, to shine brightly, to be a testimony and to show the love of Christ which has been shown to us. Are you abiding in him? Do you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your own and personal saviour? Have you accepted the so great gift of salvation because of the shed blood and the life given? And are you walking as he has called you to walk? Do you know his will for your life? Are you seeking day after day to live his good pleasure? To fulfil his calling? To be where he wants you to be, to have the conversations that he wants you to have and to simply love him as he loved you. Let's pray. Our dear God, we thank you for your love toward us in sending your only son, 
the only one that was able to take our place, our punishment that we so deserved. We thank you for your salvation. We thank you, dear God, for your word. We thank you for the challenge of it. We thank you for the power from it. And when we turn to it time and time again, you speak to us. And I pray that we, as a church of God's people, would come today again and open your word. And Lord, that more light would be shown to us, that we would see Jesus more this day, that you would impact our lives today so that we can go forward and live for you, shine brightly, be filled with your power, do your will and have an impact for Christ, for his glory, so that your kingdom may be furthered and people would come to know you as their own and personal saviour. Thank you for your many blessings. We continue to pray and seek for our safety and health. In Jesus' name, amen.